All right, four fifth members, Ithaca. All right, um, whenever Adams last night we started. It's gonna be a long process. I'm gonna keep uh, keep you all posted on on how exactly we are doing this. Okay. Um, give you a couple tips and also looking for some advice. Right, first of all, what I did was I built the chin up a little bit, not much, just a little bit uh, with some clay. Had to fill in the holes, of course, where you don't want your uh, silicone to go through. And by the way, I am using uh, dragon skin. And also, uh, a little bit of clay up in here to smooth this out. It used to go in and, and dip down, kind of like that. And we didn't want that because the rubber will stick in there too good and probably rip it on the way pulling it out. So, uh, to make the casting easier, we smoothed it straight back. Okay. Um, another thing we had to do is we extended the bottom portion going in. All right. So that way it will fit smaller heads, but you can shave it down once again to fit the bigger heads. Now we started our wall, our dam. The dam is pretty splitting up to the edge and it's following along. Of course, I'm going to be doing, still doing a lot of work, a little, a little hole there. A lot of little things that we're doing, and it's very time consuming. Very time. I was on, working on this for hours, especially with this clay. I didn't have my friction tool. Uh, but we're following along the edge of the spikes. And pretty much, you can see we're building the triceratops. Okay? And this side, but this side, of course, it is not done yet. We've got to reinforce it. I'm going to take it far enough out, and this whole front portion is going to be uh, dragon skin tonight. Okay, um, daughters are going to help me out. It's um, it's going to take a, you know, you, you put a coat on, wait an hour, put a coat on, wait an hour, put a coat on, wait an hour. So it's going to be a very long process. Uh, also, what I'm doing with this dam is, you can see this little X mark, X mark here. Uh, I'm going to um, build my keys. I'm probably going to use marbles or I'll just build a key on the clay. But I'm going to build my, my keys along this outer edge so that way when I do my shell my shell will line up and lock with my uh, with my mold I'll also probably put a few along uh, along some key points here probably here uh, maybe two here uh, one over here and I'll probably use marbles for those um, alright anyway once that's done the front will be siliconed once the front siliconed then you Vaseline, uh, Adam was explained to me, by the way, all these tips come from Adam. Uh, you Vaseline the inside or the outside portion, just on this outer edge of your um, silicone. All right, so two silicones don't stick. You build your wall as high up as you want, so your silicone is how high, how thick it's going to be, and how far out it's going to come. And if you look back here, all right, a couple little things I did back here is, Right back in here, I filled in a little bit with clay because it used to go in very deep to a point. And for molding purposes, you want it to be a lot smoother and not as deep. Okay, so that that, that was a, an addition made. Um, and then all this clay gets removed. Your silicone is sticking out to about here. And then you do uh, Vaseline it, and then you silicone the back side. So your, your dragon skin is going to be split into two pieces. And we were still discussing doing the shell. Uh, plastic cast, two I ordered already. Uh, from Reynolds, it should be in today, hopefully today. Um, but what thing about doing is three pieces, opposite of what we explained. So I apologize, but it's, just, it's new to me as well. But we're probably going to do uh, a cast on a solid back, all of this, because not a whole lot of detail in the back, but a solid cast in the back, all the way up to this edge. And build out and a nice lip so we can screw it all together and then the front portion will probably be split into two probably straight down the middle so you have this side it comes up and it builds upward and then this side comes up and it builds upward and screws together and screws together all down this edge so it'd be in three pieces but two from the front um, like Link said, avoid any uh, detail. I apologize. It was also bad advice, but like I said, I'm learning. Uh, you didn't want to go across here because you you get a little flash. When you get that flash, and watch Adam's videos, you'll talk about you'll see what I'm talking about with flash. A little plastic sticks up from your mold. Uh, if you go to sand any detailing, 
you're going to ruin these little detail spots and then you got to rebuild them and that is definitely not fun so um, good advice link appreciate that and this is the boost alive but uh, yeah I'll keep you posted I should have the clay done tonight my daughters and I are going to work on the clay tonight and we're also going to work on uh, the first 100 hours of latex on the front alright this is uh, Ithaca 405th talk to you later